action against an employee who kicked two mentally challenged gay men out of a pool for acting inappropriately. Today, dozens of people showed up at the pool to protest what happened. Elliot Beatty's Jeff Allen reports. In what at times was a heated protest about a hundred people from across Kentucky gathered outside the Hazard Pavilion pool. I, I think I'm, I was more uh, embarrassed and concerned that these issues are still prevalent in our region. It's now been one week since a worker kicked two mentally challenged gay men out of the pool after one sat on the other's knee. The group Mending Hearts, who was supervising the men, complained the worker cited the Bible and said that gay people weren't allowed to swim there. It's important to let people know that, you know, things like this still happen every day. And the more people know and the more people come out and show support, the more people are going to realize they can't do that. With police officers close by to keep things calm, other people showed up to defend the pool worker. I really don't think it was an issue of homosexuality because I don't think these men were asked to do anything that heterosexual couples would not have been asked to do. I mean, this is a family facility. People bring their babies here. The city attorney said today the worker, Kim Haynes, will be suspended without pay for five days because his inappropriate language could imply the city enforces rules based on religion. But the president of the Kentucky Equality Federation, who organized today's rally, says that's not enough. Is, does not issue an, an official apology and reassign to the area of government, then we will sue the city of Hatch. Covering the news in Perry County, Jeff Allen, LEX 18 News. City officials say they will be posting signs at the pool stating the facility is open to all types of people, but that excessive public displays of affection will not tolerate.